Tonight, former classmates and co-workers are speaking out, painting a picture of what the suspect was like before his arrest. CBS 13's Angela Musalam is live in Rancho Cordova with their reaction. Angela. Yeah, Tony, Agent Joseph D'Angelo, as you know, is suspected of committing several attacks here in the 1970s. And tonight, we spoke to one of his classmates who says he never suspected D'Angelo could be linked to such heinous crimes. This is my friend, Joe D'Angelo, class of 64. Photos bringing back memories for this man who doesn't want to be identified. He says he went to Folsom High School with Joseph D'Angelo, the man now accused of terrorizing the Sacramento region and the state for more than a decade. I didn't ever put two and two together. Never, ever, ever, till last night. D'Angelo's classmate described him as being shy and timid and says he often tried to fit in with the crowd. But he says he didn't suspect D'Angelo would allegedly become the East Area rapist and Golden State killer. My feeling is that he didn't get enough attention, didn't get enough support, didn't get enough respect. I think that's what turned him years after high school. The arrest hits home for Robert Vargas. My dad bought a shotgun when it was when it was when he was active. So, you know, I mean, it affected my family too. I had it right next to his bed. Vargas manages an auto shop in Roseville next to the Save Mark Distribution Center where D'Angelo worked for 27 years. He says he realized something shocking Thursday morning. Well, everybody that works over there gets their cars worked on here. So I instantly thought, well, maybe he's in the system, right? So I look his name up and he's in there. Vargas says there's no date showing when D'Angelo came in. A close encounter with a man accused of being one of the most notorious serial rapists and killers that now has Vargas cautious of who walks through the doors. This guy that I've seen on TV was probably standing as close as you are to me right now. And there's still a lot of shock around the community, but also relief that D'Angelo is behind bars at last. Angela, thanks so much for that live